Hey guys, so today I'm back and I'm going to do my main favorites and an Ulta haul for you guys. I wanted to just combine these two together because I don't have that much main favorites of this month, but I do have a small Ulta haul that I want to show you guys. And yeah, and now let's just get started. Don't mind my hair. Um, I I just didn't feel like doing anything with this. So I just put it up in a high ponytail and then this is just basically, I look pretty plain today. Just basic makeup and a really bold lip so yeah and if you guys are wondering where my halter top is from it's from forever 21 so i don't have the link to it but it is from forever 21 they have a lot of halter top if you guys want to check that out but and that let's just get started okay so first i'm going to start with my main favorites and my first favorite of this month has to be elf fake blush and pink tastic this has been basically my go-to highlighter like it's just so amazing like i have the same wet and wild one that's similar to this if you guys are familiar with that one i use this one more than anything just to highlight my face i don't know if you guys could tell but i got that you know that highlight though right <laughs> right on my cheekbone and this is just basically a really nice color i don't know if you guys can see but this is a cheaper alternative you guys don't want to spend like a lot of money on the mac soft and gentle because i heard that this is kind of like a dupe for it but this has been working really well for me and I always get off stuff when they have like a 50% off kind of thing so just check them out I think it's amazing and this has been like in my makeup routine every time I do my makeup next favorite I have the Maybelline concealer in number 20 and usually I like to go for my Mac Pro long concealer but I've been using this one a lot and I actually really like the coverage of it I found out that it doesn't crease on me as much so I really like it. I have it under my eyes today and I think it's perfect if I'm not self tanning. If I'm self tanning it's a little bit light for me so if you guys watch my recent video which is like this burgundy sultry smoky eye I'll link that down in the description box below if you guys want to check that out. But if you guys could tell in that video I'm super tan and now I'm just getting back to my normal skin color so I've been using this and it's just really good if you guys are like really into creamy concealer and if you guys really wanted to try that naked that new urban decay naked concealer this might be a little bit of a dupe for it it's just that the naked one has a little bit more coverage but this is a cheaper alternative next favorite has to be this pixie flawless beauty primer and this is actually a brand from target and I got this in my Ipsy bag like a while ago before I stopped my um, beauty subscription to Ipsy. And I didn't want to try it out at first because I'm like, whoa, it has a lot of shimmer in it. But then since summer is coming up, I've been wanting that dewy, luminous glow on my face. And I've been mixing this with my Fit Me Matte and Pearless Foundation. And it goes really well together. Um, I could pair this up with any matte foundation and I would still look glowy. Or you can basically pair this up with your favorite foundation. It works with any foundation. And it doesn't break me out and I have sensitive skin. So you guys should totally try this out. I think this retails for $10, I believe. But I think it's worth it. I have used a lot of it already and it still feels pretty full. So yeah, you guys check this out. Next is lash glue and my favorite lash glue has to be dual the clear white one it looks like this This is a pretty popular one, but I like this one because I'm still a newbie at Putting lashes on and sometimes you know it, it gets all over my eyes And I like this because it literally dry clear so that you know You don't see your mistakes if you're like trying to move your lashes around and stuff. speaking of lashes My favorite lashes for this month has to be the one I'm wearing today. I don't know if you guys could tell there you can see. But these are just the Pa Dolly Love 10 pack special lashes it's, It comes in a package like this and then it, it comes with like a bunch of lashes as you guys can see I've already used three pairs uh, one pair I used to do double stack lashes with my other ones and then one pair I gave it to my sister. I don't know what she did with it. And then the one I'm wearing right now is basically this one. And I'm going to take care of it. So basically I have, I've only used two of them so far. But these lashes are so light on the eyes. It's perfect for the summer because you don't want that heavy like feeling on your eyes when you're wearing lashes. And that's me. These feel really natural to me. I feel like I don't have any lashes on. So that's what I like about fake lashes. And I actually received these from bornprettystore.com, so I want to thank them so much for sending me this. But these are amazing. I'm going to repurchase them with my own money because they are amazing. And let me tell you guys the good part. It's only $3 for this whole entire pack, so it's not a bad deal, and I like them really much. I think they look even better if you stack them together just to make it a little bit more dramatic, but that's on you guys. But check this out. I will list 
the link to this um, certain eyelash in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. And my last favorite of this month has to be the LA Splash Smitten Lip Tint in Bewitched. And this is what I have on my lips right now. I am really feeling this lip color lately. I don't know, I just kind of want something really simple for the summer, but a bold lip because in the summer, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to do a lot of eyeshadow stuff. I like to keep my eyes natural with long lashes and wing liner and then keep my lips really bold. So this is what I'm hoping to wear to Generation Beauty. And that's just an announcement that I want to make. I'm going to Generation Beauty next weekend, which is on May 30th and the 31st. I'll be there on Saturday. So if you guys are going to be there, please let me know because I would love to meet some of you guys. I'm going to also meet up with some YouTubers too. So it'll be really fun just to kind of network and get to know people a little bit better. I love to meet people that I interact with on the internet, especially on YouTube, here and there. So if you guys are going, please let me know. But this is basically my favorite color, I think. All right, so now for the haul. I have this small bag right here. So it's not a lot of stuff, but I did spend a lot of money. I didn't want to spend a ton of money because I'm going to LA next weekend for Generation Beauty, but I had to get some brow stuff because I ran out of my Anastasia brow wiz, which I will talk to you guys about what I've been liking that I tried out so far. So. The first product that I picked up was the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper and this has like been this kind of rave thing going on YouTube that everybody's been talking about that's kind of like Anastasia dupe but I've never tried any of the Anastasia you know brow gel so I don't know but this is just basically a small tip like this I use it for my brow today so I kind of like it I have never used any brow gel before I don't know but then now I'm starting to you know, I kind of like this, so I think I might start using it a little bit more. And since I'm going to the beach in LA next week, I don't want to do my whole brow routine. I think I might just pop this in and just kind of like add a little bit more color to it if I put on foundation. And yeah, I got this in the color medium to dark. And then, speaking of that, I got the same one, but I got the transparent one because, you know, sometimes you need the clear brow gel. So, it was like buy one, get one half off. And then if you guys didn't know, I work at Altos too. So it was like a good deal, so I decided to get it anyways. And this is just basically the clear one, and I'm excited to try this one. As you can see, it's still in the package. The next thing I got is from Maybelline, and it is the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer, and this is the color in beige. I got the color nude, but this is for me when I'm self-tanning because I like to use this after I do my brow routine just to kind of carve out the edges and everything just to make it look crisp, crisp and clean, you know? So I decided to pick up this color because I know I'm going to self-tan before I go to LA. Next is this Maybelline Pump Mascara. And Mackenzie Man here on YouTube, she actually, you know, convinced me to get this because she was like, oh my god, that's my favorite mascara. And I was like, girl, I have trouble finding a mascara myself. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one a try. Let me tell you guys something. I was so excited that I got this mascara that right when I got home, I started trying it on. And literally, it took me an hour to do my whole, you know, mascara to make it look perfect. And I was so, so disappointed. And I was like, I hate this. It's not for me. But then I gave it a try today and I actually really like it. So I'll update on you guys on this. I think it might be my new favorite mascara also. The next two items I got from NYX. And the first item is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And this is the new one that they have been talking about that it's a dupe to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I got the color in Espresso. I feel like this color is a little bit light on me. I, I put it on today and I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But I put the brow gel over it and it looked fine. So yeah, it has basically like a pencil kind of tip. I like the pencil. I really like it. And then this one. This, I, I, I don't think this can compare to the Anastasia one. I like the Anastasia better, but I can work with this. I mean, this was only like $10, $9.99, but it's a really good deal, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money on that brow wiz. This is going to be my alternative from, from now on because I did do my brows today with this. If you guys want a brow routine, let me know because I kind of want to do like a drugstore and high-end brow routine because I know some of you guys don't like to spend a lot of money on brow stuff or just makeup in general. And yeah, this this is what I got. And then the next one I got is NYX Jet Black uh, Waterproof Eyeliner. Oops, sorry, that's my phone. And it looks like this and I used it the other day and it works so well on the waterline. Like literally, it's so creamy that I don't have to like, you know, feel like you gotta put pressure on to put it on. I really like it. I don't know if it's, I mean, it is waterproof, but when I was um, wiping my makeup off and everything, it came off. So, I mean, 
my makeup remover remove any kind of waterproof so I don't know yet I'm gonna try this out when I go swimming and stuff at the ocean in LA and let's just see how this works so I'm very excited for these two products I feel like they're going to be my favorite especially the brow pencil because I have it on my brows today next item I was like it was like kind of like an impulse buy kind of thing but I was like you know I'm gonna like it so um, it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So, I've been hearing everybody raving about the state, and they were like, Oh my god, it's so comparable to Max Fix Plus. Why would you pay more for it? Da, 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 da. Then, some other people said it was really good for dry skin people. And you guys know me, I'm the driest person ever. Like, my face needs some water blessing. So, I had to get this, and I was like, you know, I'm going to give it a shot and to see if I like it or not. And... I used it today and I used it um, a couple days before so I don't know how I feel about it but it does make a really big difference because I have dry skin so whenever I put on foundation now I don't notice any dryness but it might just be my skincare routine with this also so I will update you guys on this if you guys want a review please let me know because this is pretty expensive effort. next product is this bronze glow sunless tan applica applicator mitt this is the small one. I'm going to self tan really soon for LA for my face. So I decided to get this. I have the bigger mitten for my whole body and everything. And I really like it. So I decided to get this. I can't believe this was $5. Like it was so ridiculous. I was like $5? And the big one is $5 also. So I'm, I was like, uh. Okay, so that is it for my May favorites and my auto haul for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you guys haven't yet. That would mean so much to me. And don't forget that I will be at Generation Beauty next weekend on May 30th on Saturday. So if you guys are going, please let me know. I would love to meet some of you guys. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.